So this year at the American Neurological Association, there was a discussion about biomarkers, and there was a very respectable panel discussing different biomarkers. The panel included Ellen Partin from John Hopkins, Daniel Lin from the University of Washington School of Medicine, and Theodore van der Quast from University of Toronto. I will focus today about one marker which was presented by Daniel Lin. Let's go now and look at Decipher. Decipher, the trademark given by Genome DX company, it's a 22 gene multi pathway signature. It's a genome wide platform, and the source is, and this is the important point that I want to stress today radical prostatectomy tissue, formalin fixed. So, all of you listeners and viewers that had radical prostatectomy, this test can be done on the material from the radical prostatectomy. And here is the point it has a potential role in secondary therapy decision because all patients that have radical prostatectomy have this issue quite often brought up. As a matter of fact, 50% of the time, as I mentioned before so many times, uh, it, uh, it's a dilemma what treatment to do, and this test may help us finding specifically what is the likelihood that the, the patient will develop metastatic disease that will uh, give a situation which we can avoid over-treating the patient. And in some patient, it will help us not to under-treat patients that need it. Current predictors for freedom from progression, it relates not only to active surveillance, but also to patients that had radical prostatectomy. So obviously, if there is low volume, an initial diagnosis is a good prognostic sign. But you see the initial PSA level, T-stage, and Gleason scores do not really help that much. In imaging, we are trying to find out what the information to help us to decide which patient to treat or not. And what's controversial here is being mentioned is the PSA kinetics. So we cannot really use the PSA kinetics after the radical prostatectomy to help us too much, especially at the initial phases when the PSA is very, very low. Here is an example where the decipher helps a lot about trying to predict which patient will be in trouble after radical prostatectomy. You see here the Gleason score 6, at the bottom here 7, 8, and 9. And obviously, there is increasing probability, as you see the dashed line here, that there will be progression of disease. But when you see on each level of glycine, even the low glycine, there are patients that have higher risk and lower risk as defined by the decipher score. So you see, even if you have a low glycine, it's possible that the decipher score will show you that you are at a higher risk, the same like somebody who has a higher glycine. And when you have a higher glycine, like 9 here on this side, you could see that there are many patients that actually have lower decipher score, which means they don't have high likelihood to develop metastatic disease. So overall, I think the decipher is a good test. It's available by a, a joining clinical studies. So what I would recommend to have your doctor call the company to find out whether you could get this test done as part of as a clinical investigation. Thank you for listening. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.